Today is November 8th, 2024, and for those of you who have not heard, over in the Netherlands, over in Amsterdam, there are, uh, there's, an, uh, there's a mob going around. I, don't, I think it's, it's, it's winding down, but there was just a couple hours ago, a mob running around trying to chase or track down Jews. Now, this is very interesting just because of all the biblical implications that just naturally arise from that happening. But I want you to be sensitive to, um, even though this is very, very heartbreaking to hear, and some of them got very critically wounded, some of them are unaccounted for, um, Israel's trying to send in a military plan to pick up their people, and they're having pushback from the Dutch government over there. It's, it's just, it's, it's uh, pandemonium. Um, in many different ways, but I want you to understand that even that this even though that this is very heartbreaking In Zechariah chapter 13 It tells us that this is gonna happen. It tells us in Zechariah 13 that there in the future uh, During the tribulation, there's going to be two-thirds of the Jewish people who are actually going to be eliminated And it's remarkable because when you keep on reading what you'll find is that one-third of the Jewish people will actually make it through the tribulation it's going to take the tribulation to get these people to wake up to who Jesus is. And it's really remarkable to see this happening. But what I want you to be sensitive to is that what you're seeing now in 2024, here in November 2024, you're seeing the world being conditioned. You are seeing everybody choose a side. You are either for the Jewish people or you are against the Jewish people. And I want you to be, I want you to understand, like, I pray for the peace of Jerusalem because that's what we're told to do in the book of Psalms. But I want you to understand that that doesn't mean that I support their decisions. That doesn't mean that I'm praying and I believe that they're all born again or they're all Christians. No, many of them are lost and that is heartbreaking. And so when I'm praying for the peace of Jerusalem, I recognize that that is not a, going to be reality until the Lord comes back. And that's not going to happen until after the tribulation. There's going to be seven years of tribulation. And then after that, that is when the second coming is going to occur. The battle of Armageddon. And but I want you to be I just want you to understand the signs of the times that we're living in right now, because what you see is that the world is getting programmed to hate Jewish people. And that's crazy because that's a foreshadow of what is more to come. There's more things that are coming down the pipe. And what you're seeing is the world is getting conditioned to be against Israel. And it's happening in a big way. There's so many things happening. Pay attention to it and keep praying for him. Try to tell somebody about Jesus if you have the opportunity to, because I'm telling you, it seems like we could be going home at any moment. And, uh, you know, more importantly, you know, like the most important thing ever is to know for sure you can get to heaven. There's only one way, and that is by believing that Jesus is God's son, that he led a sinless life, that he died on the cross for your sins, and that he was buried, he rose again on the third day, and the Bible says, for whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Guys, this is the time to get in the game. If you're a Christian and you're sitting on the sidelines, you're there because of you. And so I, you know, I would like to encourage you to try to do something for the Lord. You know, if you're going to heaven, awesome. So cool. But what are you doing with it? If you're born again, awesome. But what are you doing with it? Hope this helps. Thanks guys.